out of the break and you're watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 25 for this year, appointing Muhammad Abdul Rahim as Sadiqi as Deputy Chief Executive for Administrative and Financial Affairs at the Administrative Body for Electricity and Water Authority, the EWA, with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary. His Majesty also appointed Ibrahim Abdullah Al Kabi as Deputy Chief Executive for Planning and Projects with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, and Dr. Hiba Nayef Harara as the Deputy Chief Executive for Electricity and Water Production and Transfer with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary of the EWA. His Majesty also issued Decree 26 appointing Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa as Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, took part today in the opening of the 13th Islamic Summit being held in Istanbul, Turkey. Also present was Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also called on continuing a comprehensive work to enhance joint solidarity and cooperation so as to deal with challenges facing the Islamic nation. He affirmed Bahrain's appreciation for the important role of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, that encourages uh, convergence among Islamic countries, highlighting the tolerance and noble values of the religion of Islam. He said that the leadership of His Majesty the King has established essential pillars through respecting the diversity of the Bahraini society. The Crown Prince noted His Majesty's pioneering role for Bahrain to host many initiatives and gatherings that bring together different religions, sects and cultures. He pointed out the significance of hosting the summit amid the difficult circumstances for the Islamic nation, which reflects the important role of the OIC in dealing with all security, economic, political and social challenges. His Royal Highness said holding the summit under the theme of unity and solidarity for justice and peace reflects the collective commitment to face all challenges and reinforce the positive values of Islam in addition to dealing with the repercussions of extremist groups' actions. He noted the tremendous efforts of the OIC Secretary General in organizing the summit, wishing its success to achieve the aimed goal so as to enhance cooperation and unify efforts of Islamic countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday evening with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, at his place of residence in Turkey. His Royal Highness conveyed His Majesty King Hamad's greetings to the Saudi monarch and his wishes for continued prosperity in Saudi Arabia. King Salman extended his best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad and to the people of Bahrain. The Crown, the Crown Prince praised the leading role Saudi Arabia plays under the leadership of King Salman in increasing cooperation amongst the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the long-standing support it has offered to Bahrain. The meeting also discussed regional developments and the country's shared priorities as well as the OIC Islamic Summit agenda and their hopes for beneficial outcomes.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah in Istanbul, Turkey on the sidelines of the 13th Islamic Summit. His Royal Highness conveyed to the Emir of Kuwait the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes for Kuwait of continued development. The Emir of Kuwait meanwhile asked the Crown Prince to convey his greetings to the King and his best wishes to Bahrain for further their progress and prosperity. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries and the agenda of the 13th Islamic Summit. Deputized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized today the opening ceremony of the 24th Heritage Festival under the theme of Vocal Waves from Our Bahrain organized by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Upon arrival, Sheikh Abdullah was received by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Amey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, Capital Governorate Sheikh, Governorate Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, Culture and National Heritage Assistant Under Secretary Sheikh Azza bint Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and Director of Culture and Arts Sheikh Hala bint Mohammed Al Khalifa. After the national anthem was played, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad toured the festival, the display items and crafts that show Bahrain's heritage and culture, and the different additional performances that reflect the artistic Bahraini voice. The festival also included a market showcasing Bahraini products in addition to a number of activities. Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad lauded the BACA for their keenness and continuous efforts to make this annual event reviving the heritage of Bahrain. He praised the efforts of Sheikh Amey and her keenness on organizing such events. He lauded the significant organizing level and the theme of the event, stressing the importance of uh, protecting heritage which represents Bahrain's identity. He wished the organizing committee continuous success. For her part, Sheikh Hamey expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronizing this event and praising his continuous support to the humanitarian and cultural values in Bahrain. She also thanked the King's personal representatives for opening the ceremony.
The 24th edition of the popular annual Bahrain Heritage Festival held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is now underway, celebrating Bahrain's rich traditions while propelling them forward into the 21st century. Danielle Deporto takes a closer look in this report. This year's Bahrain Heritage Festival is themed Rhythms of Bahrain, commemorating the intangible heritage of the sounds and memories of the archipelago's pearl diving history, when men would head off to the sea, pearling for months at a time, and women would sustain work and family life at home while anticipating their return. Now in its 24th edition, the event is drawing together men, women and children, whether locals, expatriates or visitors, to experience and learn all about Bahrain's heritage, culture and offerings. We have around 46 vendors. This year we have the Heritage Corner, where it's the traditional food. We got the crafts, many different crafts. The also have the market. The market, we targeted the young Bahraini talent. We have every, uh, every day different program for, for the adults and for the kids. We have different bands attending. We have many different workshops. If you have a look at our brochure, you're going to find out what day is what. This year, an educational program for children has been newly introduced, and there is plenty for everyone, whatever the age group. It's a very interesting thing, and it, and it tells you about Bahrain. They should come here and try all the things. I like Bahrain because it's fun everywhere. Launched in 1992, the Bahrain Heritage Festival serves to celebrate Bahrain's rich history of industries, foods, arts and handicrafts. But these things are not just frozen in time. The vendors exhibiting at the festival are also adding contemporary interpretations in order to build upon the kingdom's traditions for posterity. It's very nice to, to see and to show people what we have, what we still have until now. Through food, uh, we maintain our culture and our traditions, but we can present it in a very modern uh, way that suits our uh, modern culture, in, w in which we can improve the presentation of food, the flavor of food, and also add a healthy twist to it. There are so many traditional things. Um, we are adding our like magic things to transfer it from traditional to something like more modern and classic. Everybody here at the museum ha has been inspired in a way to use the Bahraini heritage to supply their market. So I'm really glad that we've done that as well because I have a new inspiration. The Heritage Festival gives a great boost to the industries featured and furthermore, the exhibitors are each finding unique ways to promote their trade and introduce it to new generations. We are making a, a bag for learning uh, Arabic calligraphy. And uh, what we do in you, I find so many people they like, but they are afraid. Then I made something called chocolate or biscuit. It is a small ink and a piece of bamboo. Uh, it is cost one dinar. I said, please try to try it. If you find yourself okay with it or you love it, then you come to buy from me. Bahrain's Heritage Festival will continue at this purpose-built marquee nestled between Bahrain's National Theatre and National Museum until April 21st. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa chaired the Kingdom's delegation in the Islamic Summit work sessions at Istanbul. The summit discussed topics related to the Palestinian cause, the Arab Israeli conflict, and ways to combat terrorism and extremism, in addition to economic, political, and social issues. The Deputy Prime Minister attended a lunch banquet hosted by the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davut Oglu in honor of the summit participants. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak exchange talks with the Turkish Prime Minister and with a number of delegation heads of brotherly and friendly countries. The first uh, Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Asker, to launch the first West Asian Junior Athletics Championships at Khalifa Sports City. The launch was also attended by sports officials and representatives of the West Asian Athletics Federation. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed 
the delegations of the championship and expressed pride in hosting the event so as to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding promoting the kingdom's ability to host various sporting events. His Highness also lauded the continuous support of Bahrain's government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The constant uh, follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in addition to the huge efforts exerted by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to develop the field of athleticism in West Asian countries, adding that this championship is a great opportunity to discover new talents and to gain more experience so as to enhance the player's ability to compete on both continental and international levels. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to the public and private institutions in addition to the organizing committees for their huge efforts in organizing the event and wished all participants every success. And before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince calls on continuing the compressive work to enhance joint solidarity and cooperation to combat challenges facing the Islamic nation. And His Majesty the King deputizes His Majesty's personal representative to patronize the opening of Bahrain's 24th Heritage Festival at the National Museum. And that's all from Bahrain TV's News Center. From all the news team and me, good night.